Hey guys, welcome to another server minor plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGM007 and today we look at the Image Maps plugin. This is a really cool plugin which you can see in action in front of me, which allows you to download pictures or make them yourself and put them on picture frames in Minecraft. So there's a few different features which are really cool and let's just jump into it. So if you do forward slash image map, that is going to show us all of the commands. There's a few we can use. And then if we go ahead and do image map list, that is going to list all of the pictures that we've got in game. So on this list, there's a few different options. So we can click info, reload or place. Let's go ahead and click info for SM. And as you can see, it shows file name, resolution and in-game size, so four by four. You can also type this in chat by doing in-game info and then SM, same information is gonna pop up. But if we click place, it's going to tell us to right click the top left corner. So right click. And here it is now you can see this ugly border we've got uh, kind of a backwards L shape how do we get rid of that so in order to fix this we need to for slash image map place SM and then true that's going to set the frame to invisible and then if we right click it is not going to appear so if we have a look at both of these you can see it is actually flat against the wall the frames are completely gone it's 2d instead of being 3d and I think this looks much better so that's what you can do in order to improve an image. Let's try another one. So if we set both of them to true, we can right click, the frame's gonna be invisible, it's gonna be flat against the wall, and it's not gonna have this ugly border that you can see in some photos. So that is how you would place an image that you already have, but you can also download images. So if you do image, map, download, call it something, and then paste a URL. Now, not all of them will work. You can see this URL was broken, didn't work, so let's try a different one. This one is going to work, it says download complete. And then we can do image map, place, duck, and we can see what it looks like. So right click, top left hand corner, and it is a picture of a duck. So obviously this one has another ugly border as well, so we can set the options to true. That is going to remove it, and if we place a new one, it is without the ugly border and it's flat against the wall. So that is how you would improve an image. However, if one already exists, you can get a wooden hoe, and if you right click each frame, it's going to make it invisible and flat. So go ahead and just right click all of them for this image. You can see that when I do, it just moves against the wall. It loses its 3D look. And as you can see, this looks far better, um, but obviously it would take quite a while if you had a massive picture that you wanted to change. And that is how you use the plugin in game. So it is a really fantastic plugin. Um, I'm a big fan of it. I think it's really cool, simple to use, and you can either use this for memes or maybe some help signs on various commands and how your server functions, rules, that sort of thing. Or as I said, you can do memes, dogs wearing hats. So here we are on the SM Picnic control panel. And as you can see, there are a couple of files. So we've got the maps.yml, that's just a data file that just saves information. And then if we go into images, this is just going to list all of your images that we've downloaded. So you can either download them in game as we showed, or if you've got FTP, you can upload your own images into the plugin and it will take it from there. So you can do either way. I'd argue downloading is far easier and quicker. Um, but you can do both. Then if we head over to the bucket page, I haven't had to say that in a while, you can see that it is updated to the latest version of Minecraft. It actually updated a day ago, which is really good. And it's working on 1.16, which is fantastic. We've got some permissions, so you can give that to people who you want to be able to do this. Um, probably just admins. Uh, we've got the commands. And then if you do have any problems, contact the developer, and I'm sure they'll be able to help you out. So that is the plugin, but if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.